Okay, everyone, let's see if we can change their minds tonight. COVID-19 continues to plague Earth with multiple variants, including the Delta variant that can be linked to surges throughout the country. Surges involving children are most disturbing as they are part of a group that currently cannot be fully vaccinated. There were nearly 27, excuse me, 72,000 children and teens who caught COVID-19 last week. And this was a significant increase from the nearly 39,000 cases that were reported the week before. COVID-19 cases among children and teens in the United States jumped 84% this week. My first thought when I hear all this is lots of talks about how this is now a pandemic for the unvaccinated. And that's all fine and dandy until we talk about who specifically is still unvaccinated and why. And for a lot of them, I'll be quite frank, at this point in time, my care meter has gone bye-bye. But for certain people, yeah, it's fucking terrible. And we're talking about kids, man, like our, our youth, the next generation, who you should care the most about ideally. So I'll pause and let you jump into some of the numbers here. Yeah. So like, so like I'm a numbers and data driven individual and I just have like an unnatural amount of empathy for people. And so, um, yeah, and it's like, especially children, like who doesn't have empathy for children? Um, but yeah, 66% of all minors cannot get vaccinated right now. Like they, there's no vaccine approved for them. And at least 15% of the entire population cannot get vaccinated because just 15% makes up those minors that aren't approved. And that's not even including people who can't get it for other medical reasons. On top of that, we have governors who are trying to make it where schools are cannot protect children. Did you see that on that note? Did you see what Arkansas's governor was saying? They regret signing that into action about a month ago. And they're trying to start a special uh, session to find a way to. So, yeah, no shit. And then you saw that DeSantis doubling down. Yeah. So speaking of DeSantis, uh, who is in Florida, obviously, and at, uh, Abbott, who is in Texas, uh, their two states make up one in three cases. So one third of the cases are just coming out of these two states, one of which is like doubling down on this concept of anti-science, anti-save the children rhetoric. And you know, I've, so I was watching someone I really liked today, um, like I said, I think Zoggy MD, something like that, D, uh, Z-Dog MD. And he was pointing out that when looking at how Delta variant impacted a few different areas, like India, for example, it kind of went shot up like crazy, but you did see this really crazy drop too. The problem is, I don't know if we'll see that same drop because we're not like, we're not doing what we're fucking supposed to. So like when a lot of these societies, the variants hitting, they're doing what they're supposed to in the aftermath. It's still too late to some extent, but at least they're doing what they're supposed to. We're not like, we're, we're, like to your point, like we're fucking doubling down in Florida. Like, so I don't know, like, if we're going to see that same trend where it just like shoots and then kind of just, I don't know. I don't yeah. know how we're going to see the same thing. Yeah. And when I was doing research for this, I specifically was trying to find information on like younger children. Because originally we talked about like, hey, what's up with all these news articles having the word newborn in them? But the state of Idaho ha had a news article that like was like, no, there's a specific surge in just our babies and toddlers. Like, we're just noticing that like that's like a group that like is spiking for us. Um, for anyone who is not familiar with Idaho as a resident of the Pacific Northwest, I have a window into what it's like to be in Idaho. And they had a viral video where they had a, a, like a church a, had a barrel that was like, had stuff on it on fire and they had young children throwing masks into it. I don't remember when it came out. It was something that uh, Resist for Humanity highlighted. And uh, it was one of the most disturbing videos I'd ever seen. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I know I always try to play like defense and this, I'm not gonna say this is like necessarily the religious crowd because there's there's people on the left who are pushing anti-vax things, but we know who the predominant driver of this is. These religious nuts like literally depress the fuck out of me. Like they like have these like such like smug, like just like so self-assured in their absolute ignorance. It's like, it's like, they fucking look down on you while pushing views that have been outdated for a thousand years. Yeah, well, and I like, think what you're trying to, you're trying to say is that if we drew a Venn diagram, the people who are anti-mask and pro-life is a perfect circle. And so it's ironic that the people who would want to picket outside of a abortion clinic would be okay with uh, the fact that newborn babies are getting COVID. 
And if for anyone who doesn't know anything about newborn babies, like they're vulnerable people because their immune systems are like developing without a cause. Like they're just not ideal candidates to get something as horrific as the Delta variant. And I'm pretty sure it is the Delta variant. You know what, Shai, you, you don't understand America. Little baby, you made it out the womb, bootstrap your L, bootstrap. You got to bootstrap it. Once you're out the womb, you got to bootstrap it in America. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm like, that's, I don't know. Yeah, so in other words, I don't know what propaganda I need to provide to be like, here's my thing. I'm pro-choice. I'm not going to stand in solidarity with you on the on the pro-life movement. But if you truly care about like babies, you should care about the babies that are out of the womb. And put a mask on. It's not hard. Uh, put a, uh, you know, get the vaccine. It's not hard. Like, I mean, I'm like, I'm Matt, I'm a pretty like kind of petite, timid person. I don't, I don't even remember feeling anything. Like it's not a difficult process. That would no, all due respect to people who have like needle fears and stuff like that. I'm just being honest. I'm like this, you can solve like a baby harming problem, which is like your whole spiel pro-lifers. So like, just start doing it. This is why some people don't want to talk to Republicans and religious nuts anymore. Because what is there to talk about when you just don't give a fuck about children being adversely impacted at a way higher rate than previously? Like, like, what do you, like, why, like, what conversation is there to have anymore? Like, seriously, like, I would like, if someone can answer that for me, by all means, you explain to me, what is there to talk about with this specific fucking tribe of Americans? Because I don't see anything worth talking to them about anymore. Yeah. I don't know. If you change one person's mind, you might save you might save their children. You might someone save the someone else can do that job. I'll work on changing people on the left in the middle. Fair fair enough. See, I always take that approach too because no one no one takes this adorable face on the right seriously anyway. So that's why I just don't I don't normally engage. Uh, I feel like you're going to appreciate this little bit here. Um, there's a lot left in to be desired in the articles that I read about the cases because they never tell you about the death rates. And I think it's messed up that our media is like, hey, you should be afraid for your children. And then not disclose the rate at which kids are dying. Um, and I think, think that I'm like, yeah, and like in an effort to be like appropriate media and not putting this narrative like these huge numbers of like 72,000. As of Monday, the CDC reported 526 deaths among children ages zero to 17. Among the 25 million U.S. children between 12 and 17 years old, about 10 million have been vaccinated with at least one dose of the vaccine. And that's the 12 and up, right, is what they're talking about. It pains me to say this, Matt, but like 526, thank God, is a very small number in the grand scheme of things. And so I just don't think it's appropriate for us to like paint a narrative to be like, you should be panicked. However, that number will only continue to go up unless we start doing the right thing. And that's why I bring it up. I'll push back a tad tad because I actually pretty much agree with the caveat being, if you live in a town or a region where you know vaccination rates are fucking low, I would suggest you make the right decision to stay the fuck away from people for a while. Just saying, like, like straight up, like just fucking saying, man, like it's cause it's not the same like across the country. So like I'm in California where we're doing pretty good as a state and there's certain areas that are doing pretty good. And yeah, we're having more outbreaks and stuff. But again, like if you're vaccinated, you're going to be OK, probably like probably um, now doesn't mean you can't spread it. It doesn't mean that you can't get symptoms. It just means compared to the group who's not vaccinated and do a whole lot better. So but again, yeah. what 15 percent of people can't get vaccinated and. A lot of children, like children at age 12, right? And then not all children, 12 to 17 even. In fact, over the majority haven't, so. Yeah, and so, yeah, to that point, like it's not even, it's not even a third of the kids who actually could have qualified to get vaccinated, but they're minors. That's not on them, that's on their parents. So to that point, the point that Matt is making is like, yeah, in your community, even if you're fully vaccinated, social distance from children for their sake, social distance from anyone for their sake, I put a mask on. Like it's, I hate that the burden is on the vaccinated, but um, I, yeah, I'm like you. Like there should be like a That's collective life. moral. Yeah, there should be a collective moral obligation that we've acknowledged something's happening to our young, something's happening to our children. It's not good. It's only going to get worse unless we pivot in some way. 
And obviously you want to convince people who aren't vaccinated and aren't wearing masks and aren't social distancing to do that. But I think, yeah, I'm just saying like my call to action is like, do everything you can do while trying to convince these, this other group. The one good news, like this anecdotal, is I know a lot of people personally who are starting to get vaccinated because the pinch and some of the pushes at work, things like that. And they're like, oh, oh, the walls are closing in around us. They're going to make us make the decent, empathetic, scientifically driven choice. Ah, oh. so good, motherfuckers. I'm like yeah. this, by the way, I'm like this close to like just flipping and saying, I think we should just mandate vaccines. Like I'm so, like I'm so done. Like I'm so done personally that I'm like just wanting to flip on everything. This point. Like, you know what? I'm tired of doing what we're supposed to do for like a year and a fucking half. I want to live life. Like you guys have been fucking around. Pl- it's, well, <laughs> that's, if it wasn't for the kids, I would not give a fuck anymore. Truly, I wouldn't give a fuck anymore. But it's the children. A lot of people feel that way, which is why I picked this subject this week. Because I'm like, I keep hearing that rhetoric that it's like, that's on them. They're not vaccinated. I'm like, I don't think people realize how many people can't even get vaccinated if they wanted to. Um, but yeah, so the school system will obviously mandate that you at least in some states i don't know i live in a liberal state so like maybe i'm biased but like you have to pull your kid out if there's like a measles outbreak if they don't have the measles and that shit's like archaic so i'm pretty sure like covid is going to be on a list of like if your kid isn't vaccinated they're not welcome in the school uh the problem is it'll be like almost winter break before kids get actually have the ability to be fully vaccinated this is the timeline that we're on so that's problematic for obvious reasons. And uh, remote schooling, there's all this pushback on remote schooling. So that's problematic. Yeah, we just need better leaders. Like we can't retroactively change our leaders. And so as a collective, we have a moral obligation. You and I have a moral obligation to talk about this tonight. And obviously, not that we weren't doing it before, but like social distance, wear a mask, uh, get fully vaccinated, both of us are. Um, and yeah, if someone's mind is like was different than ours, I really hope that we changed it. And to that point, in Florida, the Board of Education is going to meet and decide whether or not to go along with DeSantis's thing of like, no, you can't mandate masks. And so write them. I don't care where you live, like help the kids out in Florida, which again is in addition to Texas is making up one third of all cases of COVID right now. So one, I just wanna point out uh, Katie's comment right there. Uh, let's talk about all the children and adults getting long COVID, right? And so just cause you don't die from COVID doesn't mean there aren't long-term effects on your body, your lungs, your organs and things of that nature. So again, like it's not just death that is the issue here, right? Uh, it's the reality that as an asymptomatic carrier, you can pass it on to people who are immunocompromised, can't get vaccines, things of that nature. And there's the reality that like, if you do get it just because you don't die, you could have severe, like serious long-term issues. Like we're seeing things that like, for example, IQ are impacted. We're seeing things that, and I know there's like talks about what IQ actually like represents stuff, but long story short, it's impacting cognition to some, uh, to some extent, right? It's impacting your fucking lung capacity, right? You're seeing issues with hearts and stuff like this. It's just like, and the last, last thing, Part of me is like shocked, right? Like what's like what's so hard? Like what's so scary about a poke, right? But in 1840, I think it was, um, I can't remember where in Europe, but something, they, there's this interesting phenomenon, terrible phenomenon happening where they realized midwives were having far lower like, um, infant mortality, like, like, like far less uh, lower death rate when it came to um, deliveries than doctors at the time, right? And like, wait a second, doctors are better trained they shouldn't have like more deaths what's going on here so someone started studying it you know kind of testing testing and he realized before the doctors were performing deliveries they were working with younger students on cadavers right and they weren't washing hands sanitation was different then so they realized holy shit so they implemented a system to sanitize and stuff in between and guess what deaths dropped significantly and so when they presented this data to other scientists and doctors of the day and said hey we got to stop doing this we're killing people they said, no, you think we're killing people? Fuck you, fuck your data, fuck your findings, you're wrong. So long story short, we know that just like today, if you implement like a global hand washing policy, you could probably like save millions of lives. Um, so it's really not surprising that like, you know, 150 years ago, people pushed back so much on the idea of washing hands. And we still have people today who don't recognize the importance of that. Are we really surprised that a country with a 72% rate of scientific illiteracy doesn't understand mRNA technology? No, not at all. 
par for the course. Humans are a dumb, dumb species. Yeah, which for the record has been around for decades. I don't know who needs to hear that. It's not something new. Vaccines are the concept have been around for about a thousand years. Stripped down, obviously, they didn't really fully start to understand like some of the underlying assumptions till about 100, 150 years ago. But, but yeah, I, I guess the only thing I, I could say I could offer people to like weigh in on is like, do you think the schools will go remote again? Do you think um, do you think we'll have lockdowns or are we just going to lose a bunch of our youth? Like, I really hope it's just that we pivot like like it's a Biden administration. Like, why wouldn't we pivot to a lockdown and remote schooling? Like, does the states do the states really have that much rights that they can override that? To some extent, that's some of the legal battle. I don't know the specifics enough of it, but there is a link to writing. I did it this morning, and I suggest like you have a moral obligation, like as a collective. It's not just like I, I don't live in Florida. I was like, no, we should we should do something to help. It's that word right there, collective. Like especially like in a pandemic, like any time, like as a society, you're under attack, and we are under attack as a society. Like it requires a fucking group effort. Like literally, like that. That is. It's that simple. And if you don't have a group effort, you will fail. And we have been failing. And here's the thing, man. Like, if, if all you care about is the economy, well, guess what? Countries that take this shit seriously from a public health standpoint experience lower GDP decline. So if all you care about is your money, make this shit go away by wearing a mask, getting a vaccine, and encouraging others to do so. And you can get back to making your money. Yeah, to that point, you don't you don't want to kill your capital stock that young capital stock that in like 10 years is going to be able to get that burger job that you're going to want to pay seven twenty five an hour for. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just so anyone is, isn't confused. Uh, Matt and I are obviously being sarcastic. No, I'm being super fucking serious. If I can't appeal to your humanity, I'll appeal to your greed. You piece of shit. That's I'm 100% serious. Like that's, that's the sickness. We can't appeal to kids fucking being impacted you know we can't appeal to elderly being impacted you know we can't appeal to the immun immunocompromised being impacted right we can't appeal to the vulnerable of the group being impacted so fuck it let's just appeal to your greed if you want all these vulnerable people you don't fucking care about to you know keep making you money one day yeah, and well, to that point some of those kiddos they're gonna grow up and be republicans so like that's another good reason that you guys are gonna want to save them because i feel like your party is dying with all due respect like it's just getting weird over there guys like do better or just implode upon yourself. And if you're a reasonable Republican voter, just move over to the Democrats. They're basically Republicans, I promise you. Thanks for uh, watching the COVID segment, guys. Please, please, please check out stopline3.org. And the biggest thing I, like me personally, I'm thinking ways to help, my mind goes to uh, bail for the people on the front lines really trying to block this and impede this. Um, if you have the means, look for ways to help them with bail funds and things like that. I don't know if, um, if you all got a chance to catch uh, amplified Modern Perspectives on the Mute the Media YouTube channel, but we actually had a guest who was incredibly well-versed in her knowledge. And uh, I put up a 17-minute kind of raw clip from her discussing everything, and she's going to be able to explain it way better than matter I could, and is a more appropriate voice to explain it. And so I've put that in the link, and I strongly, and even if you did see it, I strongly suggest that you click the link Give us that watch time. Like I said, we got to rage against that algorithm. And uh, and it makes a big difference. You guys liking the stuff, leaving comments, tuning in for the premieres, tuning in for the lives. And we really appreciate it.